What if I told you that I wasn't getting older, but I was getting younger than everybody else? Which we did with the addition of our little toddler. 1922 is the curious case of Benjamin Button by F. Scott Fitzgerald is a tale of a baby who was born old, but as he ages, he grows younger. Of course, when I watched the 2008 film when it premiered, I thought it was mere fiction. However, a new case, an actual real case, has now revealed itself 11 years after the film came out. A British prince, no less. The first time I realised this was when his father couldn't even rem remember when he was born, if he was two days old, 2.5 days old, or three days old, and then said that he was over two weeks old. And how are you finding protein generally? Yeah, it's great. Like, protein is amazing. It's only been, what, two and a half days, three days? Yeah. Uh, Take off. Does he look up like anyone? We're still trying to figure that out. But everyone says the baby's changed so much over two weeks. We're basically sort of monitoring how the, uh, how the changing process happens over this next month, really. The second time I realised this was when Doria stayed for a full month before the photo call or the birth of Fachi on May the 6th, 2019. And Nat goes on to say that her mother only stayed with them for a month. This month, Doria explains, was a month full of the time where Fashi was already born, so pre May 6th, May 8th, for a whole month, was already born, and she witnessed the institution try to take over or take ownership of her grandson. Mm -hmm. I was with her. I mean, I was there. I'd been there a month. Yeah. Yeah, and that, um, well, they had already, you know, to strip both of them of any kind of privacy. It was almost like, it's not your child, it's, it's the institution's child. She's saying, no, this is my baby. It was also the fact that the African nanny, Lauren Kumalo, came in straight after Doria left back to LA. She came in straight after, and yet Fachi was already months old. Another fact is that Nut stated herself that Fachi was already five months old by the time he was in South Africa, not 4.5 months old or anything less. He was already five months old. And according to Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand in Finding Freedom, he was not in fact five months old at that time, but he was 10 months old. 10 months old in September, 2019, when the world found out that Fashi was born only on the 6th of May, 2019. The last statement in Finding Freedom stating the fact that Fachi was in fact 10 months old by September 2019 is supported by two other facts. The first fact is the fact, is the fact <laughs> that I've proven that Nut and Todd staged the Freedom Flight on for March the 14th, 2020, during their South African trip in September 2019. In March 2020, according to the public birth announcement in May 6th, 2019, that would make and only make Fachi then 10 months by March 2020 which coincides with September 2019, the staging of the Freedom Flight and what Finding Freedom has said, that he was already 10 months by then. 
The second fact to consider, and I will have to read off my notes if that's all right, is that in a witness statement released at the court hearing for Nutt's Daily Mail case, Sarah Latham, a former advisor to the Clintons, who headed up Mexit PR strategy for the palace and then continued to work there after they left, assisted the authors of Finding Freedom by performing a role that was essentially fact-checking. To make sure authors Omen Scobie and Callan Durand got nothing wrong. And I mean, quote, unquote, got nothing wrong. Mind you, I should like to add that Nutt stated already in October 2019, a month after the South African tour, <clears throat> that she had taken Fachi to his first playgroup class. Playgroup in the UK is only admitted for two, well, two year olds it is an exception, are exceptions. Uh, but usually speaking, only three to five year olds are accepted. And this child, according to the public birth announcement, was only five months old. This either proves that Fachi doesn't exist and she is no parent to Fachi or that he's much older than what we have been made to believe. And last but not least, my findings regarding Fachi's teeth development as a baby in Canada during the, uh, the Canada Netflix footage resembles that of a 17 to 20 month year old baby. This is to take into consideration if we actually go with Canada not being a staged situation, aka footage in Netflix. And then one last little fact uh, outstanding is the fact that Royal Lieutenant and Royal Expert Dickie Arbiter and Omid Scobie both said that Farshi by coronation or by the time of coronation was turning six years old. He looked very relaxed and it would have been very important to his father. He would have been pleased that Harry is here. He's not going to get a chance to talk to him because there's too much happening. Harry will want to get back to California for Archie's sixth birthday. So it just doesn't work out. But the fact that he wants... It's a weekend of prior very quick trip for Prince Harry, maybe even just 24 hours in the UK as he flies in, attends that coronation ceremony skips everything else afterwards and gets on a plane straight back to LA where he hopes to be back with Archie for his sixth birthday. It's a weekend of prior very quick trip for Prince Harry. But the reason why I'm here today is not because all of that, surprisingly. It's because a new piece of information has come to light. As I watched the end of a Netflix special by Liz Garbage, I was watching the tale being told by Todge of love winning that somehow miraculously, despite his wife having suicide ideation due to his family's neglect and potential abuse, even after his brother almost broke his back with the dog bowl and ripped the leather band of his necklace, 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 necklace. And in spare, tried to picture, well, didn't try. He imagined killing his father. He let that go. He let all of it go because he was happy in California and it was his home and it was meant to be. And he's happy there. He's happy there with Nut and his two children. And in that moment, 
there is a burst of honest stupidity, of absolutely no filter, where Todd tells us that California, USA, is and was Farchi's home since Windsor, and that Farchi only lived in Windsor in the UK for five months. He's completely wiped out the idea, the concept of Canada. Just seeing Archie running across the lawn, trying to speak to mine, but this is, this is the world that he knows. He spent his first five months in Windsor, that was it. This is home to him, this is home to Lily. And so now returning to everything I said prior with all those facts about Fajman Button, about how he's actually a lot older than we imagine him to be based on the fact checking and the factual correctness has been approved by Sarah Latham, the head of Palace PR for Megxit. Farchi was 10 months old by September 2019, which completely deletes his birth date on May the 6th, 2019. And it takes us back to November 2018 for his actual birth. And five months after that is May 2019, the month he was supposedly meant to be born. Two months prior, the royal family released a statement of the splitting of the two households. And all of that story unfolded and was still unfolding during this time, up until I think late 2019, I think it was around September 2019, when they officially split their causes and organizations and whatever have you. But that, considering everything I've just told you, is questionable. And his date of birth is questionable. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you soon. I'm still doing the video about the IPP and security case, um, which is tied to the Royal Griffs video, um, probably a, now a week ago. Um, I hope you subscribe, you like, you comment, you share. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you.